poppin' my Poke people? It's your boy Poke Perk. And as you know, I recently competed in a Pokemon Temporal Forces pre-release tournament. Now I competed in two of them. I got two different decks, but today we're gonna go over the Matang and the Maridon deck that you can get from your pre-release build and battle kit. Now there is four different deck variations that you can pull. This is just what I pulled on my second attempt. So not bad. You also get four packs in your prize packs at the end for how many uh, matches you win, which I went two and one with this 40 card pre-constructed deck. Now I did substitute three cards out and I will show you after I go through what you actually get in the deck. And then I will also show you how to play at a pre-release tournament. So stick around and don't go nowhere and stay tuned because this is going to be pretty helpful, especially if you're going to be playing in a pre-release tournament for Pokemon Temporal Forces. So, as you see, you get a stamped Matang foil card, and you get three Matang, as they will be your energy accelerators for your steel energy. So, what it does, once during your turn, you may look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic steel energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Meaning, it doesn't have to be Matang, it can be any Pokemon that you have out, including your bench. Shuffle the other cards and put them at the bottom of your deck. Very, very nice. And as I said, you get three of them. These are your Steel Energy Accelerators. You also get a Beldum, a Beldum, and a Beldum, which you obviously you need for Matang. And then you get two Metagross cards, right? So Metagross, Meteor Mash is actually pretty cool. It only needs one Steel Energy, and the first time you use it, it does 60 but after that, it does 120. That's only with one energy. And then we have Luster Blast, which takes four energy, one steel, three colorless, which is any energy that you want to use. All you got to do is discard two energy from that Pokemon, and it deals out 200 damage, which in a pre-release, not too many Pokemon are going to have that much HP. You also get four Iron Thorns, which I actually substituted three of them out because I don't really care for it because first of all it takes three lightning and one colorless to use Megaton Lariat for 140 which I don't really like in the first attack Destructo Press reveal the top five cards of your deck this attack does 70 damage for each future card you find there then discard those future cards and shuffle the other cards back into your deck now at a pre-release you only get to use 40 cards so this attack will not help you in any way shape or form especially considering there's not many futures that you get there unless you pull all the iron thorns out and discard those but then we have let me actually get the iron thorns out because i definitely substituted and i will show you what i substituted for after and then we have the maridon future another energy accelerator but it can be any energy of your choosing so it's attack peak acceleration for 40 damage it takes one colorless energy aka any energy that you want search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your future pokemon in any way you like then shuffle your deck so future as in maridon or the iron thorns and uh that's your uh, energy acceleration for maridon which i used it to use his sparking strike to electric one psychic for 160 and like i said not many pokemon are going to have that much hp in a pre-release and you do get three of these maridon cards and then for the trainer cards the supporters we have youngster beneficial especially if you don't get the hand that you like shuffle your hand into your deck then draw five cards we get jacques Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Awesome to get at the beginning of the game, especially if you're trying to get your acceleration with your uh, Matang going. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those two cards on top of it in any order, which means you get to look for two cards, put them on top of your deck in whichever order that you want. Not a bad card. And then we have Morty's Conviction. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. 
it's actually pretty good. I don't know about uh, for a 40 card deck. I mean, you don't really, the game doesn't end in a pre-release if you run out of your 40 cards, but it's still only 40 cards and yeah, I don't know. Then we have Miriam, super playable. Shuffle up to five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. If you shuffled any cards into your deck this way, draw three cards. Super awesome card. Extra playable. Now, we're going to get into tools and trainer cards, right? So we have the Future Booster Energy Capsule. Insane card. Awesome. I loved it. I attached it to my Maridon every time. The Future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. That's already beneficial as it is. And the attack, attacks it uses do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So on top of the 160 that it's already doing, it will deal out 180 plus. You don't have to retreat. Like you can retreat without surrendering any, uh, surrendering any energies to your discard pile. Very, very nice. Then we have Buddy Buddy Poffin. Basically taking over for VIP Battle Pass, right? Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. That speaks volumes by itself. Super beneficial card, especially if you pull it right off the bat. And then we have Techno Radar, right? Future card. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand, okay? Search your deck for up to two future Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Very, very helpful if you're trying to get your Maridon out there and start your energy acceleration. Okay, then we have our energies. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electric energies for the Maridon. Or if you're going to use them to discard for the Metagross's Luster Blast, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steel energies for the Matang, Beldum, and Metagross. And then we have the two psychic energies and a luminous energy. So the luminous energy. The Psychic is for the Maridon because you need one Psychic to use its uh, strike, its second attack. And then the Luminous Energy is a special energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So whatever energy that you need it to be, it is. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has any other special energy attached to it, this card provides colorless energy instead. So, you can have more than one special energy attached to it. So, for the Iron Thorns, I substituted for this Wugtrio EX, the Wiglet, and a Water Energy. The Water Energy is self-explanatory. I need a Water Energy to attack. The Wiglet self-explanatory because I need it for the Wugtrio. But, lucky find, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Right? I didn't use the Wiglet attack. I just wanted it so I can use Wugtrio EX because without Manaphy, you can attack the bench. And at a pre-release, <laughs> you're really dealing damage if you're messing up someone's bench, right? So Tricolor Pump. Listen to this because this is excellent, especially because Manaphy is going out of rotation as well. Tricolor Pump. Discard up to three energy cards from your hand. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so whatever Pokemon that you want for each energy card, you discard it in this way. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. So, that can be up to 180 damage, which is literally insane on any Pokemon that you want. No weakness or resistance for benched Pokemon, but most of the time people have their benched Pokemon so they can work them up, like evolve them and stuff like that. So you really can mess someone's whole day up with that. And then you have Numbing Hold. So during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Awesome, right? So Wug Trio, the Water Sausage is actually pretty good. But at a pre-release tournament, you get 40 cards. Obviously, you shuffle, you shuffle, right? You get it going however you want. You get it going, you keep shuffling, da, 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 right? And then you do seven cards. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to check your hand for any basic Pokemon. See if you have any basics. So very good. I drew all three Maridons, right? It's not actually going to happen like that because you're going to have your deck very well shuffled. So whenever you do that, you throw out the Maridon. Yada, yada, yada. You put the other Maridon on your bench. Face down, obviously, until the professor says that it's time to play. 
and I like to do this. All right, and after you have that, you're going to have four prize cards. At a pre-release, it's four prize cards instead of six, 40 cards instead of 60. And then you go from there, right? So there you go. That's how you set up for a pre-release tournament right there, right? And if you knock out a Pokemon, you take a prize card. You knock out another Pokemon, take the prize card until all your prize cards are gone or your opponents. But if you get all your prize cards, you obviously win. Now, say that you drew no basic Pokemon on your first hand. That's called a mulligan. So if you mulligan, you put all those cards back into your deck, you shuffle everything back up, and you redraw seven cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Until you get basic Pokemon in your hand, and I do, right? But your opponent has the opportunity to draw an extra card for how many times that you mulligan, giving them an advantage and having a better hand to start with. And then obviously, you flip a coin to see who goes first and who goes second. So whoever wins the coin toss gets to choose who goes first or who goes second. And that's that's how it works. And then at a pre-release tournament, you usually get another pack for each win. There's usually around three matches per pre-release tournament. I went two and one with this deck, so I got an extra two packs on top of the two prize packs and a Pokemon Play prize pack for a total of 28 packs that day because I had four... Uh, building battles. My brother went with me. It was a fun time. I just dropped the video, all 28 packs, pulled some, I pulled gold. I pulled the Wug Trio, obviously, and, and a couple more cards. Pretty, pretty cool. So go ahead and check that out. Hit that like, drop a comment down below and tell me if you thought this was helpful for you. If you're going to use any of these strategies in your pre-release tournament and go ahead and subscribe to the channel with notifications. Peace.